Uh, okay, so Hank got it. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, I am Lady Amy Mitchell with Houses of Windsor, and this is Lady Nancy Rodriguez. <laughs> you can also call her Lady Middleton. <laughs> I'm flattered uh, by the Middleton. Yes, I'm always flattered uh, by the Middleton. Cup and crown. And yes. this is Tea Across the Miles with Amy and Nancy. Yes. We've been and here for how many months now? I feel it's definitely been over a it's year. It's definitely been right? over a year. We started doing yeah, it like, after like, COVID. Yeah. So. Yeah. So it's got to be almost two years because the Friday tea time is of like two years. You're right. You're right. Right now, too. So. Yeah. Yeah, so cool. see, great, great things come from COVID. Yeah, very good, very good. <laughs> excellent, I love it. Yeah, yeah, but so this is your month that you've selected, so I will let you introduce what our theme is and what we're doing. Um, well, I was gonna try to go with Chinese New Year um, because of course China is known for tea just as much as England. Um, Most of the production of tea, not so much the drinking as England is. Um, so I have two um, pretty strong uh, Chinese teas um, and then, um, one that I just came across before the Christmas holidays, the green tea, um, the green vanilla, and it's just so scrummy. And you and I um, make it pretty well known to people. We're not very big on green teas. We like our black tea. Oh, but yeah. um, once I had this, it was like, ooh, this is yummy. And um, <laughs> and yeah, it's super good. So um, I think the first one we're going to go with, so the first one is um, Golden Yunnan. Okay. And I picked that one because I thought it was going to be a lot like um, my Golden Monkey. Oh yeah. And it's not. Okay. <laughs> um, because nothing beats Golden Monkey. I'm sorry. I right, just, right. I'm yeah. Just that one. I That's just great. love that one so much. Um, and then the uh, the second tea. Oh, I have mine swapped here, don't I? Um, no, no, no. I'm good. Okay. I thought it was the second one is um Puer Dante. And I thought Dante, I'm not sure why it's Dante, but the puer, you, it's, yeah. Yeah, you and I have just started experimenting with some puerers. Sure, oh, um, good idea. Yeah, but it's um, it's a it's a black tea also from China. Um, and I went with that because of the puer, the Scottish toffee puer that you sent last month, which was yeah. so delicious. I love it. It's being added to my pantry now. Oh, awesome. um, the third tea, as I said, is the green vanilla that Oh, that smells, yeah. yeah, it's it, there's so much vanilla in here. It almost, not quite, but almost mutes that grassy smell that comes with green tea. <laughs> so yeah, very good. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, let me add my water over here. It uh, is the year of the tiger, and the one of the tea companies from which I purchased actually offered a tea called the year of the tiger. And I was tempted, but um, there was a spice in it I'm not too keen on. So I thought, you know what? I think I'll, I'll pass on that. Okay. So now you have to tell me what spice it was that you're not so keen on. Um, I think there was a, it was like a star anise or a licorice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. And, and I don't want to buy four ounces of tea and be stuck with a bag that I'm not going to use, let alone going to have a hard time pushing on anybody else. Right, right. <laughs> not be enthusiastic about it with That's customers. Say, yeah, you're a, a tea pusher. <laughs> yeah. I'm adding water to all three of mine. I always do that. Oh, I did. Yes, off. I did too. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. nothing special to look at with these teas. Not like some of the others that have pretty flowers or right. anything. Um, they're, they're pretty standard black or green teas there. Okay. So cool. um, while they're steeping, um, it, Amy and I sort of traded places. I just got back from Florida and she was in Virginia too. That's true. You're right. Yes, um, so how you had planes, trains, and automobiles disaster kind of travel. So it was um, a day of insanity, uh, but, or of travel insanity. Um, but I will say, uh, one, I was never really stressed out, except for there was one moment with the rental car place uh, when it was, there was like, a, essentially an issue running, uh, my cards because you can't like split transactions, whatever, like rental car places are extremely picky of how you pay for the car. Okay. And, uh, it can only be in the card in your name and this and that. So whatever. So that was a little stressful, but I had a friend who, uh, cash after me money to my account very, so I could do the instant transfer and use it right then and there. Otherwise, it's going to be screwed. Um, but 
Uh, but I, so everything actually went great. And I realized upon reflection, it was because it was just me. If I had had Piper in wow. tow, miserable. Yeah. But for me, I was like, eh, like just kind of as, uh, as my therapist says, I was on autopilot. <laughs> so she said, which is a good thing. You're just kind of like, oh, okay, that flight's canceled. All right, well, what's the next thing? Oh, okay, like now I'll just go do this thing now. Um, and, and the flight back, which was, uh, more urgent was because I had to go and get Piper like you know we were timed up to the minute so it was like so the flight back was perfect nothing happened on the travel day back so the travel day there yes I was like nine and a half hours late <laughs> but, that's a whole day that's a whole yes. day yeah we realized I seriously could have based on what time I left for the airport in the morning I could have driven straight to Charlottesville from Orlando and been there earlier. <laughs> but yeah, but instead I went from Orlando to Charlotte and then Charlotte to Charlottesville almost, but we couldn't land. So we flew all the way back to Charlotte. <laughs> and then I couldn't get to uh, yeah, so basically fog, whatever, we were not going to get to Charlottesville, then they weren't going to even be able to get us to Roanoke. I needed to be in Charlottesville anyway. Molly was already there, which is two hours from Roanoke for people who don't know. And so Molly's trying to follow me. So like I'm telling her now I'm heading to Roanoke. So she starts turning back the other direction. And then I call her like, okay, so now I'm not going to Roanoke. I'm driving to Charlottesville. So she for what she should have driven two hours that day she drove six hours <laughs> trying to chase me back and forth and i drove five hours from charlotte to charlottesville in a last minute rental car <laughs> oh my gosh and, and all in temperatures that your body isn't used to so it was freezing cold that's true. That's true. But it was, well, actually it was above freezing. So that was what caused, I guess, the fog and all of that, but, um, on the ground, but they, yeah, so it wasn't freezing, freezing until I was there for a couple of days and the temperatures got colder, but, uh, yes. So, but it was a wonderful time there. And Molly and I actually, the last two hours of my drive to get to her, we just started talking on the phone because it's like we would have been talking by now anyway. <laughs> so, let's start hanging out now. <laughs> oh, stars! I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'm very, like I feel like I have to apologize on behalf of Virginia for your time. Yeah, do not apologize. Yeah, yeah. But it's like I I think I've told you I've not had good luck with Charlottesville in the past and the one time in the past and. I was, and then once again, it's like, well, now I can't even land there. But when I did return my rental car uh, the very next morning, no problems. Like we were like all holding our breath. <laughs> but my my suitcase that I had checked did end up in Roanoke on that flight that I tried to change to. So I didn't have my bag till the very last night. Oh, <laughs> <it was there. laughs> oh my God. Amy. But luckily, I had my makeup in my carry-on, which is what I care about. Yes. And the, the cottage that the winery owns that we were staying in um, is uh, they do a lot of like bridal parties that stay there for wedding weekends. So they have tons of toiletries, tons of like everything. Literally yeah. the only thing I had to go buy was uh, deodorant and borrowed some clothes from Molly and I bought one shirt. Uh, which was also perfect because the next day I come out from uh, my room or whatever to Molly and I go, Molly, you're not going to believe this. I go, the security tag's still on the shirt <laughs> that we had bought the day before. It's like, she's like literally everything. everything if you can't pull those off, they have ink in them. I know. So it was a clearance shirt at Target. And so I said, I was like, I know what I can do. It was like on the back collar and I go, I just need scissors. So then we're like digging around looking for scissors in this cottage. And we're like, oh my God, like there's knives, there's all kinds of things. And so I go looking in her bathroom and I found the first aid kit. It's like, there has to be scissors to like cut gauze or whatever. Right. So right. I'm digging, digging. Finally, I find scissors. <laughs> and so I like cut like a scoop. <laughs> <laughs> to be like a cute off the shoulder. Crash dance, 1981, all over again. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like, yeah, a weekend of just like, let's see. <laughs> let's see how many like plan B, plan E's. <laughs> I mean, basically a, um, 
uh, roll with the punches kind of person. I, I am now. I will say if you would have caught me five years ago, I would have been crying on the phone to Dave at the first hiccup sure. and been sure. like, save me. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. I don't want to travel alone. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. over three years or whatever, I have figured out how to become a, quite more independent and yes, and go with the flow. Good. <laughs> so Good. I was you proud of myself. Longer. <laughs> yeah, right. You'll live longer for sure. Oh yes, but goodness. how was how was your trip <laughs> to, to my state? Um, so it was it was very good. Uh, seamless flying, um, no problems there or back, which is great. I was traveling with two kids. I had uh, Jackie and William with me. Stephen, of course, was um, back at Virginia Tech. He was closer to you than he was to me. Um, <laughs> Uh, and, uh, you know, it was a trip to see my parents. My mom, I saw last May, but my dad, I hadn't seen and the kids and I haven't seen since we were there for my niece's wedding. So that was October of 2020. Oh, okay. So, um, my dad just cannot travel anymore. So, uh, it was just very necessary just to go and have a visit with them. Um, it wasn't without its frustrations just to be with parents that you remember one way and now they're just a different way because of. Um, health issues because of age, things like that. Right, um, right. It was a little frustrating to witness. Um, mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to insult my parents or put them down or anything. My dad just watches television all the time. And, mm -hmm. um, and my mom is incredibly active, which is fantastic. Um, but the only stuff she like, seems to have in the house are like all these sweets and pastries. So you get up and she's got like four kinds of massive muffins from Publix and sweet rolls in addition to the muffins and a coffee cake in addition to the sweet mm -hmm. rolls and muffins. And, um, and you know, you walk in the door and, uh, and the, the M&Ms are everywhere. I mean, there's just, she's got all these bags. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's mint and they have the new coconut ones. Well, here's the ones with the peanut butter. And have you tried to try and them? And I'm like, oh, that's amazing. Our faces. And William, yeah, do you yeah. want soda? And I'm like saying, no, oh, William does not need a soda. Oh my gosh. He had one on the plane. Right, and, right. Uh, and it's just very frustrating. And, you know, so, um, and then my two nieces came for a very quick visit. My sister and her two daughters came for a very quick visit one morning. And my sister was running late. She had to attend a funeral, which is why they came up. And um, she was getting close to lunch. And I said, mom, maybe we can give the girls a snack or something. And I was thinking cheese and crackers, cheese and hummus. Sure. The M&Ms come out. <laughs> Right. That's not, yeah, that's, that's not going to help anyone. Like, I know. <laughs> gonna pull so you up. I'm texting Jose and I'm like, I'm so, I'm so tired of seeing the sweets and the pastries in this house. It's very difficult not to eat them. It's not like yeah, I have yeah. strong willpower or anything. Um, right. It's not like I drink my tea without sugar in them to begin with. Um, and my brother shows up from Savannah and he brought a package of 12 apple fritters and 40 brownie bites. Whoa. Okay. And I'm like, dear God almighty. I don't yeah. know. For how many people? <laughs> so it was very difficult to, you know, just to constantly trying to avoid that and going, yeah. do you have a banana around here somewhere? Right, right, right. I'm not the most health conscious eater. I promise right. you, but, um, but we have made changes in the last few years to our diet to try to, you know, I'm not getting younger, sure. I'm not getting thinner. And, um, <laughs> Well, for me, for me, I would just be like, do you have anything salty to balance this out? I can't eat just like sugar on sugar on sugar. <laughs> like, where's the chips? <laughs> well, I found her oatmeal and I do plain oatmeal every morning with, with okay. her. Food. So there are bananas out and oatmeal. So I was good with that. And it was okay. Okay. Jackie and um, it's just, so those are my two biggest complaints and just how oh. very difficult it is just, to, you know. It's really hard. A lot of flashbacks. I did get together with, um, I think my tea is being delivered right now. Um, Wonderful. Uh, uh, I got together with the girls I first made friends with when I moved to Jacksonville when I was 15. And so uh, four of the five musketeers reunited. And oh my gosh. I haven't seen since we were 17. And we had a blast. It was so. Oh, that's so awesome. So that was really cool. That's yeah. really cool. So, so that was, yeah, so that was my weekend. So it was good. And returning to this weather is unprecedented to have 70 degree weather at the end of February. Right. This is usually when we're expecting snow and getting mm -hmm. in pre mm -mm. it's right. outside. So <laughs> it's really lovely. we've had some windows open and everything. So I yeah. love it. Yeah. That's great.
So yeah. have you brewed? Have you steeped? I have steeped, steeped. yes, and steeped All right. and brewed. Yeah, All right. We have the gold so first, right? So you know, some sometimes like a tea, a, a, a black tea can have a golden color, an amber color, or a I, I like to call it like a, it's almost there's almost a gray to it, um, and that's what I think this. Um, uh, which one did I start with? <laughs> I'm trying to remember here. The gold. Um, the the puer, yeah, not the puer, the um, yeah, um, Yunnan gold, right? Yunnan gold. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so you said you think you see which color yeah. to it. It, it's like it's more of a yellow than a okay that's what I see yellow, yellow. Okay. it's like a yellow brown yeah yes yeah okay so, at first I thought you said gray you I thought you were landing on the color gray I was like oh mine kind of looks yellow yeah. <laughs> but we always have different teacups <laughs> Me too. very true very true I try to pick the ones with the white in there so it smells good it smells like a solid black tea like a dependable black tea okay I'm doing my milk and sugar for proper tasting since when did you start doing doing milk for a tasting? Oh, well, I've always preferred milk. I've always been too lazy. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not using filtered water either, are you? No. No. Are you? I, after that tea tasting we did last year, I'm a convert completely. Really? Okay. Yes, I now take bottled water with me to tea parties. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, what what do the Chinese say that water is the mother of tea? There are two That's ingredients great. in tea, and they both better be good. Right, right. So, so that means okay. So now I'm gonna have to ask. Uh, so the promotional items that I do now, as well as all my other stuff, um, the guy that I work with, Dave, he is um, like has been drinking, has like I don't know, a water a distilled water thing or whatever in the fridge, and has been drinking like distilled water for years and years and years and he like swears by it and just says like you know water's not supposed to have a taste at all uh if you taste the water that's not the water right <laughs> um, something else sure right right so now i'm gonna be like hey give me some of your water so i can try it with tea <laughs> because that must be like the purest tea <laughs> if you've got like distilled water <laughs> yeah like yeah. spring water from some right. plenty of springs in florida well, that's true. Yeah. But I guess the, the trick with the distilled is that it is whatever happens to it, that it's like fully turned into like steam or whatever, and then like trickles back down into okay. water. So yeah, it's a whole thing. <laughs> Maybe we need to do another tea tasting with the, with the I water. I think you're right. And actually, yeah, I was like, I guess you can totally buy distilled water. Yeah. Like by the jugs yeah. at the store. So yeah. maybe that should be our next thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, cheers. Cheers. Cheers to number one. I like it. It's like a, I don't know, not a super strong black tea. No, it is mm -hmm. not. And I let there, there was enough in there for you to taste. And uh -huh. um, yeah, and I left it in for a while. Yeah, I guess it, it, a dependable black yes. tea. Mm -hmm. um, it's not as strong like Assam has a pretty distinctive flavor or Darjeeling, but this is just just a, mm -hmm. a good black tea. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. That's good. It is good. So, mm -hmm. It would probably be good with lemon. And I'm sure it's delicious oh, yeah. with milk. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So you did not get your milk today. <laughs> you didn't want milk? I did not bring milk in with this today because a couple of these I just wanted to try naked, if you will. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Good job, you. <laughs> me, not me. That's a different kind of show. <laughs> That's that's our tea across the miles after dark. Exactly, there's saxophone <laughs> music playing somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> that's great. The the next one is what? That's the the puer. Puer, puer Dante. Okay. And I'm gonna try mine's, it again. Mine's you know, very dark. It's very dark. Yeah. I am mm -hmm. seeing it. Yeah, it's a very dark okay. tea. And puer, we looked this up last week or last month, Amy. We should remember these things, and <laughs> no, we don't. I remember that it's supposed to be like more of an earthy flavor. Ooh, it smells more earthy. Yeah. Ooh. That's what I remember. You remember that, so sure. remember that wheel? It's either that my teacup wasn't clean or. No, it's, it has like a farm. Mm -hmm. It's a farm I smell. Fish. I was gonna say fish. Oh, really? Oh, I think it's what? the farm. Let's see, oh, let me check. Gosh, I, really really I guess, yeah, the taste is more. Farming. So I will, I can say, so when, 
I was in Virginia, Molly and I, what we did there was uh, went on some winery, we went to different winery tastings. And one of them, I now I can't remember what it is or whatever the fancy name was. So Molly, as you know, and her husband own a specialty beer and wine shop in Roanoke. Right. Shout right. out to Barrel Chest, everyone in Roanoke, go there. Definitely. <laughs> Tell them that Lady Amy sent you. <laughs> and, and I'm hoping to get there one of these days. Yes. <laughs> um, but so she knows all the all the stuff there is to know about wine uh, as well. But they were talking about something where it is a, a process where there's certain wines that have more of that earthy farm flavor. And mm -hmm. Molly has said like, yeah, she just is not a fan. She can't, can't get behind it. And how some of it, it's like, just tastes like, I mean, like you're just on a cattle farm, just like breathing in with your mouth. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. But some okay. people, every, you know, I guess it tastes, it tastes all right to them. I really, I'm getting like a fish farm. Mm -hmm. That is, you know, it's faint, but it is present. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's not pleasant. It's, it's unpleasant. Yeah, so apparently, yeah, you need the Scottish caramel toffee mixed in with the pu'er so that it doesn't. So it hits the tongue like a plain black tea. But as it goes down and it starts, you know, part of your tasting is what your nose picks up too. And that's like, why I'm getting that fishiness. I so, feel like it, to me, on my tongue, it immediately goes to cattle farm. And then I'd say like the aftertaste is the fish. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. But you're right. The first split second is like, oh, it's a black tea. Nope. It's no, fun. it's not. <laughs> nope, it's fish. <laughs> it's like, no, no. So not recommended by either Houses of Windsor or, or, or Windsor or Cup and Crown. Um, who are Dante? Not so much. Nope. Nope. Yeah. No. But uh, not to say yeah. that for all puers because the puer that you sent, you want to state again, that the um, Scottish toffee puer you sent last month was phenomenal I, yeah. I have not gotten that out of my brain and i think yes. it's my my porch step right now because i, I love it I just well then you can go and drink that after this mm -hmm. <laughs> so i was gonna say that i don't know uh why this one is named puer dante but i could say what has something to do with dante's inferno is this like a cup of tea from hell <laughs> there you go i think i'm gonna write about that now, what I want you to do is I want to, I want you to take that a sip. bad, but just to make the joke. It's <laughs> very good. I want you to take a sip of your puer, and then I immediately want you to go back to your golden union and take a sip of that, follow it, and see what happens. Yeah, there's like an extra little maltiness. That okay, thanks. I was like, what is that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really seems to come out after fish flavor. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Follow the fish with a with a. <laughs> it pairs well with fish. <laughs> this one pairs very well with cod. You know if, what? What is it? What do they have any more? Um, kedgeri, the very you know popular um, traditional uh, breakfast food. It's made with cod and oh, really? uh, rice. I didn't know that. And, yeah, it's called kedgeri, and um, maybe this is a tea that would go with kedgeri. Sure, sure. Yeah. You know, I'm going to take this one. I think we know where that one ranks. Yeah, <laughs> yes. No offense taken. No offense taken. Um, all right. So it's up in my spoon back. So and the then, third one is the uh vanilla green. Uh yes. Now it was sent to me as as a sample from one of my uh suppliers. And right before Christmas, and I know the rule is you are not supposed to add milk to oolong to green tea certain teas and I did it anyway I had a splash of cream ready to go and I put it in and it was bar none it was delicious and oh okay so I thought you were gonna say it was a mistake no it was good no, okay. I do actually recommend some milk in this one um the the green the the herbally green with the vanilla and the milk was just <laughs> outstanding to me and so I was like I'm going back and ordering more awesome okay then I'm gonna add my milk <laughs> mm. And it smells so good. Whoops, excuse me, I'm making a lot of noise up here. <laughs> I have a secret. I'm I'm not using uh sauce my matching saucers today. <laughs> no one can tell. Hey, I, I have know, no it's like it's quiet. 
It's quiet and less to wash. <laughs> I don't have pants on. Nobody can see that either. So <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, I, I know. I do have pants. It's all right. I saw them earlier. That's the other show. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> later, later. You're right. I like it with the milk in it. Mm -hmm. It's so good, right? It is really good. Mm -hmm. It's definitely like, um, let's just say, it's probably the closest I would get to drinking green tea. <laughs> like, because the vanilla is like definitely a flavor, but you can still taste the green tea. I'll you say, can... you know, the strawberry and the cherry rose that we've done before, yeah. those hide the green even more. This mm -hmm. is like, oh, I'm all, it's kind of like I'm drinking green tea. <laughs> <laughs> just almost, a little almost but i feel like it's a good compliment at least from my palate and everybody's palate mm -hmm. is different but it's a pleasant blend and not um right. something that's not like not like the fish like you know where it starts off black tea and then ends up right. with fish. It's and like, it's not is, yeah and it's not yeah. grass yeah, yeah. <laughs> not yeah. grass little yeah. things <laughs> <laughs> precisely very much so but, yeah so i'll have to ask you since we're talking about green tea uh where do you stand or what is your experience with matcha the powdery stuff <laughs> zero no experience with that whatsoever okay other than same. ice cream at a japanese restaurant i think okay yeah. same, same here i feel like um i tried to drink it maybe before every like years ago before everybody was like talking about it, and i didn't even understand that it was like you just stir it in <laughs> like you know <laughs> there's no like steeping um so I've not tried it, but it, it is becoming such like a popular thing now yeah. that I'm like, I'm probably gonna have to try it at some point. But also I am, you know, just guessing them like, well, it's still green tea though, right? So like if it's plain green matcha, does it just taste like grass still? <laughs> <laughs> Do I need, need to find the flavored matcha? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, I, I know nothing about it. And as for two people that, work in the tea industry although for you and me it's more of the british tradition of tea not mm -hmm. so much you know the the production of tea um but people do ask questions and i would like to be somebody who has you know like if my mom right. would say me on the spot i'd like to have those answers right. and um, i do not have enough yeah well um, now we know we gotta learn <laughs> well and, and going back to and i guess a solid answer for from you and i could also be i don't drink tea for its health benefits that just happens yeah. to be, you know, part of it, but I, I drink it because of the tradition, I drink it because I love it. That's um, true. So That's a very, healthy, yeah. yeah. GNC very fair point. Yeah. <laughs> right. right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like, I mean, because a lot of the matchas and things are uh, sold at, like if you want to ready to make, or, you know, like it's a drink that's already ready made. Um, they're just at the Starbucks type places. Uh -huh. where it's like, that's not, where I get, like, I don't want to just go pick up my drink in a plastic cup. <laughs> yes. That's, yes. that's not how I do tea. <laughs> well, I have a question for you because you just yes. said plastic cup. Do you think, and have you ever paid attention or been asked, do you think tea tastes better in China or porcelain? Or does it matter if it's in a cup? Does it matter if it's in hmm. this, in a yeah. you know, glass, crystal, whatever? Right. So I will say I... I'm not sure actually uh, between porcelain and china. I would have to try that with like thinking that while I'm doing it. Uh, like a coffee mug, I will say it depends on the tea. Just because like if it feels like it's supposed to be like a cozy cup of mm -hmm. whatever the flavor mm -hmm. of the tea is, then a mug will work. But yeah. if it's something that you feel like should be an afternoon tea, then I feel like it will lose its luster if it's not in a cute teacup. <laughs> I spoke with a Brit one time and she travels with um, two teacups, two saucers, her spoons and, um, and, a, and a teapot. She's, you know, when she's in, yeah. and she's in the same, she says, and I will travel with that. I'd love to see how this travels, but sure, um, sure. Yeah, she travels with this, she said, because nothing beats porcelain for the taste of tea. Um, and I have read that from other people before. Um, but yeah, the, so I, I, I thought about blogging and I guess my other question to you, because this is another blog, but to bleach or not to bleach, that is the question. Do you uh, bleach your tea wear or do you let it get brown, brown, brown? I do not bleach it. I honestly didn't know that was an option. <laughs> so I guess I let it get 
for around, but at the same time, a lot of my stuff, I feel like, oh, even on the inside of the teapots, like if you rub it well enough, like it does come off, or at least for me it has. So I've not gotten to the point where it for sure won't come off, but it's like, yeah, it's not going to rinse off with water. You're going to have to like rub at it. No, it doesn't. Yes, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, but that's interesting because I feel like all the Brits that I know, or at least Brits of like a certain generation, they all just drink out of like coffee mugs. That's their normal tea. So like they would probably never occur to them to travel with teacups. It's like, I'm the weird one because I like fancy tea stuff. For them, it's like only if you go out to tea, maybe do you drink out of that. And sure. and as as you know, but for those of the <laughs> those of the, you watching that don't know, uh Brits, Nancy and I don't drink tea like Brits do because they for in general will just stick to a basic black tea blend of like English breakfast. Maybe they'll venture out to Earl Grey. <laughs> PG tips, right off the- Exactly, the PG, PG yeah, tips. PG tips, yeah. Um, and uh, let's see, it's funny. So like I was talking with a Brit recently that I met in b and uh, I always like to find out what is their brand that they like. So yes, he was PG tips. Um, he bad mouthed Yorkshire. He said it's not bold enough, which I was like, okay, I haven't heard that yet. Um, and I guess Taifu, when I mentioned that one, that one he said was like an okay close second because it still had a bold flavor to it. Um, and I can't remember what he said about Tetley, but yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you, so I'm sorry, am I cutting you off? You no, not it. at all. Mm -mm, no. So funny that he would say that about Yorkshire because um, Jackie's former first grade teacher, um, mm -hmm. I've given her samples of things. She's a, she's a tea drinker. I, I think she's a Kate Middleton wannabe also. She's a cutie Love button. Um, and, uh, and she said that um, she would just get the twinings, sometimes Bigelow, English breakfast. And she said, I tried the Yorkshire and it gave me an eye twitch all day. And she said it was much too strong for me. And I was like, okay, for us as, you know, and I was warned by somebody else about this for us, one of those bags probably makes two cups of tea for you and I for what we're probably used to. Sure. Um, yeah. But because they, they tend to be strong. However, if you're putting milk in it, it's delicious. And that yeah. is how right. so many British people do take their tea with their milk. Um, right. So uh, I, I've come to like it stronger, stronger mm -hmm. as in more bold flavor, not over steep because over steep to me, is still, right. it still gets that bitterness that I, I can never go the three to five minutes. I'm more I like can't. a- I can't, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like, if, if I don't make myself stand there and wait, <laughs> mm -hmm. then I will totally lose track of it and come back and like, oh no, <laughs> it's been in here for like 10 minutes. <laughs> yes, yes. I almost did that, was it, oh, it was this morning, I almost did. I was doing some um, cream of Earl Grey. And, oh, nice. uh, yeah, and I was like, and I walked away and I came back and I'm like, <gasps> Ooh, that might not oh, be yeah. <laughs> Oh gosh, that's great. Well, so I uh, am sending out, uh, I got Tammy Sue's address and I'm sending her the Fort Emma Mason smoky Earl Grey. And I told her she's gonna have to tell me how it compares to her own concoction that she makes of her smoky Earl Grey <laughs> tea. I, I did the smoky, or you sent me one package. Yeah, what did you think? Yeah. I took two sips and handed it to Jose. I love it. Yeah, it's not, I have to say, it's not as smoky or as strong as the La Fung Sushane. Sure. But, um, but it still had that smoky. Smoke. He enjoyed it. He, he, yeah. he yeah. Oh, okay. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That's well, hilarious. Actually, done. Right, right, right. That's so funny. Yeah. So the, so, um, of the three, can I ask if you don't, what of the three, yes. I already know what the, the, sure, sure. We know what, yeah, yeah. yeah where the poo air goes. Um, yeah. So actually, I think I like the Yunnan Gold the best. That one, I'm enjoying, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, that, I think that's somewhere, the, I have to show you the leaves, they're rolled, so they're the fine, I was like, they look okay. like pencil shavings. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, the, they look I very see. similar to the Golden Monkey. Ah, yes, they're yes. Incredibly two different wonderful flavors. Mm -hmm. And the son just walked in and there's a box from the English tea. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Um, and then, so the green vanilla, is it still just a touch too green for you then? I think it's a touch too green or I steeped it, I possibly steeped it too long. So I've got a second bag so I can always try it. Yeah. And watch it. <laughs> well, 
last year I talked to you about centerpieces. Um, let me back up and say, I have had nine requests for tea parties in 10 days. Oh, all right. So it is a wonderful sign of two things. A, yeah. we are truly coming out of this pandemic. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna take a political stand, but I personally think the pandemic is behind us. I think this is now epidemic at this point. Right. Um, and two, that um, I was able to renew with the knot, which I was not going to do, but they, they made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Of course. <laughs> and, um, and it was such a good deal for advertising. And this is where every request has come from. And um, okay. so it's, really, it's really taken off. So I have one next weekend. Um, I've got people fighting over dates and I'm like, you're second in line. Hold on. I got to find out. Oh, that's amazing. And that's I awesome. think I, I told you, I also hit up my podiatrist. Yeah. 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 Really good good treatment. And he said, absolutely. Because I loved the idea that you and I, the last tea party you did right before Christmas right. was the going sort of the corporate side or business side. Right. Um, yes. your employees, and there was no haggling in price, which is what happens yes. The mother of the bride and the maid of honor. Well, can we do this? Does it have to be that much money? Da, da, da. No, you go right, in right. the price, and this is what we're going to pay. Right, and, right. Um, so he is the first. Um, you know, I'm like, I just said, hey, and then I'm going to come in, and you need to hire me to come in. And he gets, I absolutely love that. Let's pick a date in April. So I'm still waiting to hear from their coordinator, but um, oh, well, that's awesome. Yeah, so I would love it if he could, you know, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That on. Yeah. That's um, awesome. So I asked you uh, some months back about um, centerpieces and I yes. still go back and forth. Should I do silk or should I do real? Now, people already want to haggle over the price that I have set, sure. which I think is quite reasonable for what I do. Mm -hmm. So if I were to have to go out and buy more and more roses to do, then I definitely have to go up in price. I can't do that. So I just spent all kinds of money at Michael's today to make centerpieces, getting the most real oh, and think yeah they're they really it's like from a distance you would not know oh, yeah. but i also hit the sally that what do they call it in england the sally army store the salvation army stores last week okay i didn't and even know they called it that That's sally great. army this sally was army. practically black and i'm going to show this to you and you polished it i polished it this is a moroccan teapot the lid was already broken off which is fine because i'm going to fill yeah. it with oh Look that's so hand. cool that wow that so beautiful? how how long did it take you to polish that? 10 so, minutes. Nuh-uh. And yeah. it was almost black? Oh my gosh. Black. And then I got, because they look almost exactly like mine, these were black. Oh. Pitch black. Yeah, and yeah. you do take a chance. You don't know what's going to happen. Right, right. Um, and I polished these inside out. They're stunning. And Perfect. I'm going to pay Little Roses, paid $5 for each of these. Yeah, I paid yeah. $7 for the teapot. That's um, awesome. And and so I'm hoping because people call and I'm like, well, I come with flowers, two little flower arrangements for my tables, and you're on right. your own for your tables. Right. And I don't like that approach. I don't think that's the way to do a bridal shower. Right, right. So I was trying to do that. The other thing, I was at Michael's today. Tell me, this isn't stunning. Oh, that's beautiful. It's a candle. That's so pretty. Yeah, yeah. Is that awesome. So I'm going to give that to the bride. Oh, I love it. Yes, a little something for the That's bride. Perfect. Yeah, That's yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So I find all these cute little treasures everywhere. And I'm such, a, I'm always a bargain hunter. My mother always says, hey, you never pay full price for anything. Yeah. So um, anyway, so that's that's one of the things I'm trying to do because I finally kind of caught up with my inventory. I have mm -hmm. what I need to right. do the tea party. So now right. some of those expenses can go to some other frou frou and, right, and right. things that I can do to improve what I'm right. offering. Um, so perfect. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, do the, uh, yes, the uh, oh, silk flower centerpieces, because then once you have those made, you just reuse them every time. Like you're not exactly. redoing anything. You just pack them up as is and then move. Precisely. If move they want around. real flowers, I can say, hey, this is what I offer. Right. And I, I'm, I'll put something on my webpage, you know, to show that these are, you know, what comes with it. But yeah. um. If they Honestly, want to do flowers, they're on I don't their think own. anybody does necessarily expect it or will even necessarily notice because you'll have so much other stuff happening on the table. Like the flowers yes. are sort of like just in the background visually, you know, exactly. like they add they add to it, but no one's, you know, looking at just that. It's all the tea stuff. Sorry, my cat, one of the new cats is hanging yeah. out in front of it me. It wouldn't be a tea party with <laughs> Amy if there weren't the cat's tail in the middle of everything else. I know, I know. <laughs> 
What about you? Are you interested in putting yourself out there as a tea party kind of person again? Um, I don't know. People keep talking to me about it. And, uh, but I just feel like, like, I feel like your area definitely is a better market for it. And we're coming into a much hotter season down here. Right. True. Um, uh, so I feel like, um, I'm just not sure yet. I'm not sure if I really want to go back that way. I feel like someone will have to approach me and like to make an offer that I can't refuse. Right. Uh, similar to like, like the corporate one was great, but I don't know if I want to just go out there and be open to like any potential bridal person calling me and talking prices. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, it's part I really don't like. And I finally became, if you will, brazen enough to say, yeah this is it. This yes. is what it is. Now, if I've had, you know, the one I'm doing in a couple of weeks, she did come back and she said, you know, she heard one price over the phone. And then I sent her the proposal that has the price that I know I said, because I remember gulping before I'm like, I'm going to put this out there. And, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Said, you said this price, why does it say this price? And I, you know, texted her back. I said, I am so sorry for the confusion. And if I, if, if I was not clear enough, but this is my price, um, I said, but I would, I, I am willing to work within a budget. And so I don't want to say that it's a starting point, right? Right. But I'd like to put it out there and say, you know, you know, people say, well, can we add another sandwich for that? Or can you add a savory for it? Or, right. you know, uh, you know, I, like I can add macarons, you know, and right. you and I both know it's only going to cost me this, but I have to, you know, sure, sure. Got to beef that up a little bit for profit. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, uh, so I've been able to work with people on that and I don't mind that I got a call from someone right around the corner here and okay. I really want to do that one because that's around the corner here. And that means yeah. that she would start talking about that among other people. Hopefully. Oh, right. Yeah. Right there. In the area. Yeah. So I actually did just call her back after I sent her, um, uh, some suggestions and said, Hey, listen, I would really like to work with you on this. I, I'd really like to make this happen. You know, let's talk some more, you know, I'm happy to throw in another food item or um, or bring the price down just a little bit, you know, if you make so we'll see if she comes back with anything. But um, okay. I, I'm feeling like so much potential. It's like I, I could I just got two requests today. And my husband's like, wow, we're gonna be rich. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I still can't do this every all. weekend. I know I can't yeah. do every weekend because it's that's a lot. And that's that's huh? those are Saturdays. And that, that's also my favorite. Right, that's your yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, so, right. But yeah, that's the yeah, that's the other thing is like, do I want to do it again? It's like, well, I have uh, Piper half the time all on my own. And it's like, uh, yeah. And then the other time it's like, well, that's maybe my day to do something or like yeah. extra work. So yeah. I'm not sure if I'm ready to do that, but, but like, but the corporate thing is good because that is work hours. <laughs> like that's office hours. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So yeah, the guy is saying on a Friday, and I'm like, I can do Friday. I can do Friday. Right, right. So maybe I should just put something up that's like, yeah, basically corporate lunchtime things only kind of deal, you know, uh, that only kind of package. Um, but yeah, because that would be more worth it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I, I agree completely. I, I I think it's a I think it's a great angle, and you have more of that angle because of your BNI. Well, that's true too. Yeah. It's like, I'm more around business people. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah. I, I think it's great if you can get in there and it's not something that you would do all the time, but I think if you were to advertise it on the slide, Hey, you know, right, this is right. great, you know, like, I wish I could get a photographer to come in and take the pictures. Yes. I know I do. Some oh, yeah. I can't serve tea and be the photographer. No, you can't do all of it. I at can't once. do all of it, but it would be so great if somebody could come in because I would love to use those pictures and go, this is what you can offer for your sure, sure. corporation. What a, what a great Friday, you know, afternoon bonding, right, uh, right. employee appreciation, right, whatever. Right. Um, yeah. Well, if you find, uh, let's see, I would say, I know when I first started, uh, there was a knew a photographer on the scene that I'd met at a networking thing. <laughs> and so he uh, charged me a small amount so that he could do that. And he did video uh, at the, at the event. So if you find someone, yeah, young and new <laughs> yeah. and you can hire for just a one-time thing. Yeah. To, mm -hmm. to take pictures and then you have those forever to use. Absolutely. Um, if you're looking for somebody who just is looking for experience, mm -hmm. college students, well, um, sure. 
service hours for high school students. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that, yeah. That's something else that I am toying with for some of this, because if I could have the help setting up. Yes. Um, I don't yeah. want, it would be great if they wanted to stay, but some of the places I go to are 45 minutes away, 45 minutes back. I get there at least two hours ahead of time. There's the cleanup afterwards. Mm -hmm. and there's still the two to two and a half hours of the party. That's an all day thing. Yeah. I think for a teenager, we don't know each other. She's just looking for service hours. That gets to be a little complicated, but right. um, I think if you can find somebody, you know, kind of local, I, I've got friends in the neighborhood who have daughters. It's like, hey, come and get some yeah. service hours help me with the setup and then you can go home yeah yeah that's and true you know, that's a good idea what, yeah this is what would you the hostessing industry sure sure yeah hospitality Hospita hospitality thank you hospitality. there you go yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. like that's what they call it in school <laughs> yeah that's what they call it down in florida yeah so totally pitch i mean i don't know if you and i could ever make it happen if you'd even want to but i'm gonna plant a seed you know that my family's down there Yes. And you and I have, have kind of said on the side sometimes, it wouldn't be neat if you and I could do a party together. I don't yes. know what kind of following or uh, interest you would have uh, down there, but you know, it would be that would be really to, fun to come down there and say, you know, a tea event with the two tea ladies. And right, you, right. You know, just the one time thing. You used to sell tickets. Yeah, I did it on Eventbrite. Yeah. So, I mean, we, we totally could do that. I would say maybe we could should start um maybe plan it for like the fall so that we have like lots of time for the the planning of it mm -hmm. uh, and uh and promotion and it'll be fall at least <laughs> like we were not doing it in summertime in florida <laughs> exactly exactly um yeah but i love that my sister tanya said to me the one who found your card and sent sure. it to me initially she said yes. have you met her in real life yet and i'm like no we've never met her. well yeah, it feels like it but i guess not <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. Well, wow. and and it would be appropriate for us to get together uh, for the year of the jubilee. We could say the queen has finally <laughs> brought us to, at the queen's <laughs> request. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, what a great segue. Let's right. Go yes. You go yes. first. Well, um, I will say um, I was going to Google before this. What is the latest as far as? Uh, the Queen's COVID. Last I heard was that it's fine. Like, it's not a big deal. I, I happened to look it up 10 minutes before I, I got on here with Great. you. Perfect. Um, she's looking very frail. There is a difference between how much thinner and frailer she looks now than she did at Christmas time. Really? Um, okay. I do, I do see that. Yeah. Um, I think she still looks amazing. 95 years old for crying sure, out sure. loud. Yeah. I feel um, like I saw a picture of her that was like, I felt like have they not been showing us the queen for a while? Like, have they been showing us all new pictures? Because she did yes. seem like, yeah, old all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she looks. But I don't know if that's crazy. COVID. I think that's just maybe age. And it might be. And it might yeah. be. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's, and it might be Andrew. And it might be Harry. And it might, it might be all this stuff that's going <laughs> on her. Um, so, yeah, so I think she's doing fine. I think it was just, you know, like for most of us, it was a cold. Right, right. Mm -hmm. oh. and oh, what Prince, is. yeah and Prince Andrew we did discuss him some at tea time uh, last Friday so he settled out of court for an undisclosed amount of money but the um, eventually yes right but the amount that was disclosed is what he will um oh be donating or whatever like given to charity of what was it like basically for the rights of victims or whatever um and and so and i you know during tea time i chuckled i was like well isn't that just kind of ridiculous but then as trevor pointed out he's like on the other hand though it's kind of like well at least like he is doing something toward like to that effect or whatever like instead of uh just kind of like getting off and pretending like nothing ever happened it's sort of like sort of making you know retribution whatever so yeah, there's there's you know with penance has to come reconciliation i'm just saying that as a catholic you know you yeah. see the confession there's penance and there's reconciliation right and right if you're not wholeheartedly you you really have to go deep but part of it is what it looks like to the public and apparently he still wants to somehow maintain some of his um involvement and right right how he's going to be able to do that right um I, nobody's going to look at him the same again and it's funny sure. because the, the something i always thought about was how does he face his daughters 
And I read something about how, yeah, he apologized to them. I'm sure he did, you know? Um, right, yeah. Ow. Well, yeah. Um, the, oh, the, the funny show that I watched, The Windsors, which they haven't had a new episode in a while, but they had, uh, oh gosh, so now the cat's just like hit me in the face with the tail. <laughs> You can't see it. Oh, there it is. And you only see it when it touches my head. <laughs> but um, in the the parody show of uh, the Windsors, uh, they do make a, a comment back when like this very very first came out, and uh, like I don't know, 2015 or whatever. When like basically Andrew, if he would have played his cards wisely, he wouldn't still be in the spotlight for all of this um but he's an idiot and kept hanging out with epstein so uh but so at that at that first initial one uh the actresses the characters of beatrice and eugenie uh they're talking about like can can daddy come to christmas and they're like oh no they're like he's they're like, I don't know, he's in trouble for something about, he like just hung out with someone who's not good or whatever. Like they act like, it's just that he has bad friends. <laughs> like he's done nothing. Mm. Yeah. But then it's like, yeah, well then he kept hanging out with those bad friends once they got out of jail. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> and went to their New York home and was photographed. Well, so, and you're wondering yeah. who else is gonna start, you know, what other names are gonna start coming out too. Right. And so Sean, so Sean from the T group, he um, uh, turned me on to a documentary that's on, well, I guess it's on YouTube is where he showed it to me, but it's all about the uh, Duke of York, like throughout time, the Duke of <laughs> the Dukes of York and how they basically always have some kind of scandal attached to them. Huh. And so I learned a lot more about Prince Andrew and how he was as a kid and kind of why they reason that he is the queen's favorite and like basically he's always been pretty cocky and thought he was above everything and you know they they say the Dukes of York because it's traditionally the second uh son of the the reigning monarch like right. they have all the you know luxury all the benefits without any of the responsibility of being the heir uh, or the direct heir and so that's how apparently they all get into trouble but um what was interesting though i didn't know this is that uh remember the princes the two princes in the tower that were mysteriously yeah, yeah, yeah. murdered yeah uh, or no, i should say they disappeared yeah. <laughs> they've never been found uh, one of yeah one of those was a duke of york so the very and it was the very first one named duke of york's so the very first one <laughs> basically put a i feel like put a curse on the rest <laughs> and and all of them have had problems ever since ever since yeah I, yeah i think you could look at any one of them and find issues i mean sure well yeah that's true yeah yeah <laughs> that's a lot of interesting i mean you're an only child yes no, I have an older brother and an older sister. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But my sister is much older, so we didn't grow up in the same house, but my brother's like three years older. Yeah. Okay. So, and I'm smack dab in the middle of five, but if anybody ever referred to any one of the others as, well, you know, you know, they're known to be mom's favorite, I'd flip. Yeah. So, you know, that, that's, that's gotta be uncomfortable. That would not make me happy at all. I mean, I, I there are already the sibling tension, tension sure. within, you know, within the five of us, there always were. So, um, right. yeah, and, and I don't know, like they said, apparently he was also known to be like the, like he was the Windsor that got the, like he was the handsome one. He was the best looking one. So it's like, you know, trials didn't get the looks, uh, you know, compared to, yeah, I mean, as a, as a young guy, he was like at least decent, but like, you know, Andrew was, yeah, was very cute and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, but, and they, you know, shoulder older pictures is like, oh, okay, I guess I've never really seen him besides what he looks like now. But, um, and I didn't realize he was so much younger than Charles. So he's like 12 years younger. Uh, well, then and then Anne, yeah. And then he came. Right, then, right. Yeah. So I didn't realize it was that big of a difference, uh, just cause I mean, he kind of looks older than that to me um yeah. but he uh you know they they said one of the reasonings was that uh by the time he was born the queen was like kind of so far into her role and like just had more time to be with spend time with him so aside from him being the pretty child and apparently the fun you know silly child who got away with a lot of stuff right, right. <laughs> he also got more attention from mummy because she 
had time. <laughs> so that makes sense. That yeah. Makes so that's sense. why, yeah, Charles continues to, yeah, get the short end of the stick. <laughs> sure. Sure. Um, yeah. I'm not alone. Um, so the other big news is that Camilla has uh, been granted the title of consort. Yes. Yeah. And, consort. and that's, um, you know, she, that, that's quite an elevation. She went from that bloody woman to. Sure. sure. <laughs> I know. And, and I think, so the, the Royal podcast I listened to, I like the way that they went about it. So they're like, they think that when they got married, it was kind of like a big enough deal. Like that was enough that people, like that was about as much as people could handle. So they're like, we'll call her princess consort. Like, don't worry. We won't make her we won't ever call her queen. Right, right. And then right, it was right. like, as people got used to it and like calmed down, it was kind of like they were always going to call her queen, but they couldn't tell everyone. Yeah, well, that <laughs> got the possibility. And, yes. And at this point in, in their eyes, you know, because what do I know? But um, in their eyes, she's done enough of the royal duties. She stepped up. I mean, you know, sure. they did a lot of shuffling when, um, uh, when Harry and Meghan left, expecting that they were going to be filling some of those roles. And, right. um, and she has certainly stepped up into that. I think you and I talked about this before too, that um, uh, Kate Middleton took over one of Andrew's, at least one of Andrew's, was it the military? Yes, or what was it? It was um, the military something that she took over for him and she took over one of the sports from Harry. Yes, and, um, yeah, yeah, I remember she, the sport. She got, yeah, she's got that athletic bill. She's, she's always, you know, been sporty to begin with, so. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah, but, that's, that's funny. I, so also, I forget, have, I know you've watched Diana the Musical, <laughs> which I've not, I don't need to because I've gotten your summary of it. <laughs> but have you watched, uh, did you watch Spencer yet with Kristen Stewart? No, and with, okay. yeah, with Timothy Spall and, and the other yeah. guy, uh, Farthing, Jack Farthing. So you, yeah, need, no, you need to watch it uh, and then Sean and I can talk it over with you. So I watched it two Fridays ago and then he watched it for in time for last uh, week's tea time, and we like really get into it. It's funny. <laughs> so I'm on the fence of how I feel about it. Like I'm like, I mean, whatever. It is what it was. But Sean, Sean really doesn't like it. <laughs> so he goes into all the things he doesn't like about it. It's pretty funny. Well, um, those things have Hollywood all over it and their hands all in it. So you know, right, it's right. One of those things like, is that true? Do you think that was true? I wonder if that was true. Did it really, you know? Right, like, right. The they crown. really just, the yeah, crown. I feel like they just took a very artistic approach and um, and I had more of a warning, I guess, from the things I listened to that I knew it was going to be pretty much an entire depressing time. Yes. Right, <laughs> like, sure, sure. And so I think Sean wasn't expecting that the whole time. <laughs> so he was a little, yeah, was like, really? Like the whole time is a problem? <laughs> Let me ask you, was there a lot of gosh? Did they do a lot of gosh? No, there, I can't say that there was any gosh. Yeah, I know. Gosh, there well, wasn't any gosh. <laughs> <laughs> gosh, this is very important. I love it. I know. It's gosh. so good. But um, so I do have to leave for my chiropractor appointment in a little bit. But real quick, is there yes. any other important royal news that we are missing that we need to discuss. Not that I can think of. Kate is in Denmark right now with the other princess queen to be. That's and okay. they look like a picture postcard of professionalism and- That's awesome. And yeah, um, I think that's about all I can think of right now other than just keeping an eye on the queen because- Okay, sure. I know, I know. I mean, of course we want her to live forever and for sure live live to the jubilee celebrations yes. but i will say i was really just holding my breath for february 6th all i wanted was her to get to the record breaking right <laughs> exactly she made it too. so like the rest is just like bonus to right but didn't she say at one point that if she reached 95 she was going to start handing things off and i think she really i really think she, I think kind she of has hard. yeah yeah i feel like it's yeah. been yeah kind of in the in the works yeah, yeah. but it is it is interesting, uh, yeah, to talk to people that, um, I don't know, just like at tea time or wherever, where people may not know as much about the royals and they're just like, I don't get it. Why can't she retire? Like, can't she just abdicate? It was like, do you know what that means? <laughs> like, that's such a huge deal. 
fix our life. My hair. Yeah. I was like, and at 95, like, what's the point? Like, that's what you want to do this? <laughs> I'm going to take off the next five years so I can go horseback riding. Exactly. Right, right, right. That's so funny. <laughs> I would love it if she could. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. That, that's, I, I keep thinking about that too. It's like, at what point, you know, when, when her favorite Corgi passed and she, you know, there was like, she's not going to get another because she you knows there's no point. You right, know? right. But I think she does have a new dog now anyway, though. Like she does. does. Have, I think she yeah. did get a new Corgi. Yeah. I think it's, yeah. <laughs> so they're like, oh no, she'll never recover. It's like, I know. But she's had like probably 30 dogs at least anyway. <laughs> like they're all descendants of the other one. She's outlived everything. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, well, I know you need to go. And um, okay. so next month is you. You let me know yeah. when. Text so me. Figure it out. Yeah. Yes. Uh, March, yeah. March. What happens? St. Patrick's Day? I don't know. But yeah. I'll figure yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. Irish, whatever. It yeah. I was like, maybe Irish, or maybe I'll just do whatever I want. <laughs> yeah. Well, we do water again. One, oh, two, great. Three. Distilled water. Yeah. Distilled water. Yeah. That way you can have it down. <laughs> Distilled water. <laughs> And then I'll come up with the tease for it. Yeah. That sounds good. Or awesome. A-T. The, the best way, the, well, the best oh, right. way. Yes, A-T. Yeah, so yeah, that's true. You, you have a typical Twinings on hand or something like that. Yeah, maybe something oh. that we're used to, yeah, drinking uh, yeah. with our undistilled water. <laughs> Irish can... breakfast. There you go. There's yes. your march. There you go. Irish yeah. breakfast tea. Put it in. Perfect. It <laughs> there we go. All right. Thank you. It was All right. Great. Yes. Back with you again. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I, Thanks everyone for watching. Yes. Thank you. And I will try to join you guys on Friday. I keep forgetting, or I'm working yes. one or the other. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We we need you back on there. Come on. <laughs> I appreciate that. I've got some more tea people that are trying to to come on. Uh, tea loving people slash British people. People I've been meeting in other chapters of BNI. So we'll bring them in. <laughs> yeah. Get a get a bunch of them in there, and I'll make a grand entrance. No, I'm yes, sorry. there we go. I'm like, oh my goodness, <laughs> it's Lady Nancy Middleton. <laughs> you can't call me Lady. I don't have the title like you. I don't. Own well, one of these daughter. days, I'll just buy it for you. So I'll, <laughs> I'll call you that. My now. mother said. That's what my mother said. Definitely. All right, then. You have a great week. All right. Thank you. Okay, bye. 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 bye.